So this afternoon in Nairobi and uh, morning in Iran and the rest of the world, I would like to once again welcome you to this session. My name is Carol Maringa. I'm the facilitator in this session and I'm based in Nairobi, Kenya. And we will be having our presentation from Fatme Gotsi. Fatme will make a presentation on the effect of prenatal care courses on reducing childbirth fear, a review article. Fatme is in Iran, and Fatme is a midwife. She's a recipient of an MSc in midwifery counseling and a BSc in midwifery, having more than six years of experience as a midwife in primary health centers and hospitals. She currently serves as an instructor at Quam Medical University, where she trains midwifery students on subjects mainly focused on maternity care. Fatme is also an active researcher. She has published several articles in high impact national and international journals, as well as chairing several well reputed conferences. Fatme also works as a research coordinator at Lyle Excellence Center. Being very passionate about improving women's health, Fatme is currently writing her first book on promoting health and well-being in menopausal women. So Fatme, welcome. And you are now the presenter. You can continue from there, Fatme. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, for your introduction. And also, I thank you to all the facilitators that are here. Uh, at the first, I would like to say hi to the International Day to all of you. Uh, today, uh, I would like to present my reading article, which is about the echo of our now self hate code and reducing childbirth. In some cases, the validations are required in which uh, we need an operation. Sorry. Uh, fortunate, as you can see in this bar chart, to deliver silver by the Australian station and how we present in all parts of the world, as you can see, of the world, the percentage of the live birth with the section in British are trying to. In a review of study shows that out of 107 countries, 54 countries have set a cesarean rate of below 10%. And for countries between 10 and 15 percent why? In 59 countries, this rate was reported to be greater than that. Sorry, do you have my voice right now? Yes, now you're clearer. It's better now? Yes, it's better now. Okay. Please go on, Fatme. 
Okay, but uh, uh, I think uh, my role uh, is not present uh, because I uh, can change the uh, slides. Am I presenter? Uh, yeah, 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 thank you. Sorry, sorry to all of you for this uh, interruption and uh, that uh, uh, it happens. Uh, okay, uh, we will uh, continue again. Uh, as I said uh, before, in this uh, study that I mentioned the name of uh, this uh, study here in the uh, uh, front of uh, this uh, slide, uh, Iran, with 41.9%, uh, was recorded as the second country with the highest rate of cesarean section after Brazil. Other studies in Iran showed that more than 70% of cesarean section had no valid reason. 92% of such cases were performed following the request of pregnant women. Pregnant women who were scared or concerned about the side effects of natural labor or NVD. For example, Shariat et al. in 2002 and Enron et al. in 2017 showed that respectively 71 and 80 percent of mothers choose the cesarean section over the natural childbirth because of tocophobia. Fear of childbirth or tocophobia may result from fear of the pain of labor, prenatal injury, and newborn death or injury. Fear of childbirth is mainly associated with increased labor pain, prolonged delivery process, and unpleasant labor experience. This fear could also be due to postpartum depression and postpartum anxiety. And, if, uh, and also, it can increase surgical interventions like uh, CS and negatively delivery outcome. It is of note that fear of natural childbirth as an unexperienced event is more common in primary parous women who internalize other women's unpleasant experience and hence insist on performing cesarean section. So, the fear becomes a fact cycle of pressing negatively and leads to increase the rate of repeated cesarean sections swiftly. Okay, what should we do for these problems? According to articles, educating and preparing pregnant women for normal delivery is a great strategy to decrease the cesarean section rate and fear of NVD. The prenatal period education provides a valuable opportunity to improve misconception and misinformation about childbirth reducing the fear and increasing the self-efficacy of childbirth. Unfortunately, for many years in Iran, the conventional surveillance schedule at parental care included only measuring height, weight, blood pressure, and fundal height, and listening to the fetal heartbeat. Education and consolation programs on labor and better pregnancy control have been inadequate. For this reason, the Health Ministry of Iran has been providing uh, childbirth preparation programs for pregnant women since 2014. The program is called Preparation for Pregnancy Period and Physiological Delivery. Classes start at 20th week of pregnancy and are A sessions launch and finish at 37th week of pregnancy. Following various relaxation techniques and educating and uh, training methods, such courses aim to relieve pain during labor and reduce the fear and anxiety of mothers. 
deep breathing techniques and muscle and mental relaxation methods are examples of methods in children's preparation programs. The present study is a review of articles published by Iranian authors focus on the impact of prenatal care courses on reducing the fear of childbirth and preferred cesarean section. A set of keywords including course of uh, preparation of childbirth, prenatal care course, fear of childbirth and cesarean section were adopted to select articles published in 2014 when this national program started through 2020. Available in PubMed, Google Scholar, Science Direct, Scopus, SID, and Ewan Medex databases. In total, 385 articles were found of which 12 articles were selected after applying, including and excluding criteria and removing duplicates. And about our results. As you can see in this chart, the index of cesarean section in country was decreased by 6% immediately after the implementation of the program and then it was constant for a long time. Is it possible if my friend to be mute? Yeah, thank you. The implementation of the program, as you can see in this chart, uh, was relatively effective in the decreasing the rate of cesarean section in Iran. And also, Ahrimani as R in 2016 examined if childbirth preparation courses affect the choice of type of delivery. The results show that women's decisions when choosing the type of delivery and the level of anxiety during pregnancy and childbirth differs between case and control with a statistical Delivery process, they state that the score of anxiety, the pain of visual pain, acuity in the transition phase, and the pain of visual acuity in the active phase, and episiotomy pain were different statistically between the two groups. In contrast, in, in contrast The duration of the labor process, the baby's weight, upcar score, intonation of breastfeeding, and analytic drug use were not different statistically between the two groups. Uh, dear Carol, I'm not presenter and I couldn't, uh, couldn't uh, change my uh, slides. Um, okay, let me get you back on. Sorry yeah, I, um, I understood to wanna to mute all friends. <laughs> um, make presenter. Sorry about that. Uh, can you be? No, no, no. It doesn't matter. Thank you. Okay. The results of a study conducted by Rastegari et al. in 2016 showed the positive effect of course of pregnancy preparation on the duration of labor and reduction of the cesarean section rate. Moreover, the result of a systematic review conducted by Rajabi Naini et al. in 2018 showed that attending courses of childbirth preparation showed a positive effect on postpartum vertigo, depression, and backache resulting from pregnancy. Furthermore, the duration of the active and uh, second phase of labor and uh, mother's anxiety in the participants was lower in the other group. 
And wrong in 2017, suppose that the self-efficacy and the rate of normal delivery in the participants were higher than other group. These studies show that women who uh, showed high self-efficacy experienced a lower level of uh, fear and pain and greater childbirth satisfaction. I should mention that factors such as caseworkers, such as midwife or doctor obstetrics, courses on childbirth preparation, information level of childbirth, relaxation techniques during childbirth and labor, and most importantly, psychological support from family and medical staff had an impact on self-efficacy and uh, courage of women. These studies until here are in the line uh, with WHO studies, which investigated on uh, 4,000 American women in 1988. The results uh, show that the use of breast and massage techniques reduce mother's fear and pain, which in turn reduce the rate of cesarean section and other complications. Their final report included that the leading cause of success is to participate in pregnancy period courses comprehensively and coherently. On the other hand, Mehrabi et al. in 2018 reported that the fear in trained women of the intervention group increased significantly compared to control group. Also, according to Balleri uh, et al. study, the post-training score of fear was increased in trained women. They concluded that uh, training a score for women in their study area showed an inverse effect, resulting in more fear of women. As a result, a change of concept in a training program was suggested. Moreover, Fahimi et al. in 2016 reported that the um, rate of cesarean section of the group under training was not significantly different from the untrained group. It was suggested that uh, courses, uh, starting time, little use of uh, appropriate training and relaxation techniques, and different communities' culture may explain the observed inconsistency. I should mention that a literature review in 2020 reported that only 30% of Iranian pregnant women participated in this national program. Their lack of knowledge and access is one of the main reasons withholding them from training participation. This program has been running for about seven years, but unfortunately only in some of Iran's major cities. As a conclusion, I should say, to decrease the rate of cesarean section and the fear of natural childbirth or MVD, we need a long-term programs to improve the negative attitude towards uh, NVD, such programs should be complete and comprehensive, available for pregnant women and also K-workers who deal with NVD. And also implementation painless delivery techniques, complementary medicines such as aromatherapy, childbirth at home or in water are among us the methods that lead success in most countries. And uh, we hope that an adequate number of uh, health centers are provided so that physiological delivery services are also accessible for pregnant women in a small villages and towns. We also advise on further research on developing a new childbirth control methods such as hypnosis, oricotherapy, uh, and uh, acupressure and massage. 
and also midwife counselors play an influential role in reducing fear and anxiety and changing the um, inappropriate culture of elective cesarean section. It is anticipated that a combination of midwifery knowledge and consolidating techniques and skills offered by midwife counselors can considerably identify, manage, and terminate tachophobia. And uh, this is my uh, references that uh, I've used in this uh, article. Uh, in the last part, I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you for your attention. I hope it was useful for you. Uh, thank you to all my uh, facilitators and uh, also I would like here to thank to VIDM for holding this webinar. I do hope this webinar will be a, a start uh, for international cooperation in research and education. I hope that after this meeting, uh, we will see more international collaboration in midwifery. Thank you. I'm ready for uh, answering your question if you have. Uh, and uh, if uh, you don't have any question, I invite you to a, a, a conversation. And uh, kindly, I would like to know um, your uh, ideas and your solution about this question. What is your solution to improve the negative attitude towards NVT? And also, uh, what should we do for the de uh, decrease the rate of the cesarean section? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Fatme. That was a great presentation. We really appreciate it. Uh, the chat kindly uh, mute. If you're not speaking, please mute. Ojia, kindly mute. Um, there are a few questions, uh, comments. Actually, it's more of comments. The people are um, really uh, celebrating you. I can see some of your colleagues saying the, the, there will be a celebration after this. But there's a question here that says, a student in the chat box, a student midwife thought how to encourage any or oxytocin re, uh, rich environment to facilitate normal bath, upright positions, low lights, private environments. And you can also see there's another one here. Can you speak more about the type of education and how this contributed to the finding of increasing fear among the expected families? We have just exactly three minutes um, for the presentation, but again, the comments are really awesome. Well done, Fatma, great presentation. Yeah. So maybe you can take in uh, a, a, a quick two questions and then we can um, end this session. Fatme, can you hear me? Uh, Fatme? Uh, thank you, dear Carol. Uh, yeah, I want <laughs> to find their uh, question that um, uh, friends uh, said. Um, uh, yeah. uh, there is a question here from Rene who says, can you speak more about the type of education? Um, then there is another one that says, do you feel, uh, did, uh, did you feel free? Did you feel, um, did mm -hmm. you feel women accepted the classes or did they, did you experience yeah, relaxation? Yeah. 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 Maybe you can um, as I said before. in my uh, presentation, um, we uh, invited all uh, pregnant women uh, when uh, the uh, uh, received in twenty uh, uh, week of the pregnancy, and uh, they have uh, eight uh, educational uh, classes that uh, we talked about uh, all details about pregnancy, different kinds of uh, delivery and um, uh, also about breastfeeding and uh, how they can manage uh, their uh, uh, babies uh, after uh, their childbirth. And also we uh, invited their husbands into a uh, session. Uh, instead of education, uh, we also have uh, uh, some exercises uh, 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 and also yoga. 
uh, day training uh, with a, a coach uh, and um, uh, they will be ready for uh, their uh, childbirth. Uh, and then um, they uh, follow by uh, a doula uh, in uh, the last uh, months of the, uh, their, uh, and weeks of the uh, pregnancy and uh, uh, with uh, a special doula, uh, they were into uh, delivery uh, part and uh, they, uh, they were passing their um, uh, all uh, uh, labors uh, and uh, yes, uh, uh, we tried uh, to um, have a, a specialized and also uh, unique uh, uh, pre uh, pregnancy educational for them, but unfortunately, uh, as I said in my presentation, uh, uh, these uh, classes uh, presented or uh, applying just in uh, some uh, health centers and uh, some of them they are uh, private and uh, they are not uh, uh, accessible for all people in, in different uh, kinds of uh, uh, income. Um, Fatma, thank you very much for responding to those sessions. I'm encouraging um, each one of us here, maybe you can reach out to Fatma um, offline after this, she shared her email address. Um, you can get in touch with her, but I really, really do appreciate for your time. You have been very, very um, uh, great audience. Um, she has posted her email address there. Her details are there online. Kindly reach out and um, help, let this keep, uh, let's keep this discussion um, going.